you're coming back returning hey what's up um if you're new to my channel how you doing what's good <laughs> i hope you like this reading this is a love reading for couples um and then the next video will be for the singles because i know we have both so couples as far as couples this goes if you're married if you're in a relationship with someone, if you're committed, um, and if you're thinking of someone. So, this is how that goes. First card that dropped out is reconciliation. So, that's the overall theme of this love reading for this weekend. On the left side, it will be the Divine Feminine. On the right side, it will be the Divine Masculine. First card is how the Divine Feminine feels about this relationship. And then it will it will go the same way for um, both sides. So we'll do the Divine Feminine first. And then the Divine Masculine next. So the Divine Feminine got three cards that fell out. The first one is... Oh, oh sorry. The first one is Release Your Ex, Divine Feminine. Someone is still hung up on their ex. Or maybe you're trying to find out why the particular situation didn't go as you figured or as planned. I feel that very strong and heavy. The next one is playfulness. To rapture romance, I'm sorry, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. This particular person has been on your mind for a long time. Release the one who's been mean to you, who's been cruel, and allow yourself to fall in love again. Because this is a reconciliation. And you feel as though this particular person that you want to get back involved with, not that ex, this one, <laughs> that... This is true love with this person. This is the romance of a lifetime. What is the divine feminine barriers? What is her barrier? Passion. Passion is your barrier. And wedding. Passion and wedding is your barrier. I'm sorry. Yes, yes. Passion and barrier is your, is your um, barrier. And the reason I say this particular situation is your barrier is because you're so ready for this to happen. You're so ready. You feel like everything is together. You have yourself together, but you're not putting yourself in the other person's shoes. It's like you're one-sided, and I'm not trying to be mean about it, but you're kind of one-sided with this situation. Because you feel like you've done all this work. You've done everything, so then why are we still sitting here in La La Land? Why hasn't it come true in the 3D? It's going to come true. We all want this to happen for everyone. Um... Patience, because the next card that fell out was worth waiting for. This particular situation is worth waiting for. Divine timing is at play in your love life. Divine timing is here to show you, okay, just a little more patience. We're cleaning everything up. Do you know that, Um, I don't know if you guys know, but it's like a Barney song. It's clean up, clean up, everybody do your share. And that's what I feel with this particular situation. You're ready to move forward and you know you're ready. They know they're ready too. But it's a few more things, it's a few more I's and T's that has to be dotted before everything comes together. And you can feel it energetically that it's about to move forward. Just give it some time. Give this a little time to work out. 
it's it's probably not even going to work out the way you planned that it will or that you thought that it would work out but it's going to work out for the best for both okay so let's go on to the divine masculine side i'm gonna just move that up a little bit because we're gonna get an outcome card even though you you already know what the outcome is but uh-huh divine feminists we be in our head trust me let's see the divine masculine how does he feel about this relationship I feel like he's really antsy. Like he's ready to come forward. It's just a little more he has to wait on. And again, three cards came out. So it says, your soulmate differ, may differ from your usual type of expectations. Keep an open mind. He's keeping an open mind right now. That when he returns, you'll be there with your arms open waiting for him. And he has to keep an open mind because this is what's driving him forward. He's ready to get to know you again. Get to know what you've been doing for these past few months that you haven't been talking. What's been up? How's life? And he wants to tell you that everything that he's been doing. Everything that he's been working hard to come forward to you. He's ready to tell you this. He just need a little more time to get things done. His next card was getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. I know I already said the card name before, but I'm just saying that that's, that's what he's ready to do. He's ready to open up completely. Completely, and he hopes that you have no restrictions on how far he opens up to you because you're the only person that he would rather tell everything to. And he knows that if he tells you this, you will still honor him as the person he is. And he, he was afraid that before, when you first both came into union, that you were going to judge him for the things he were going through or the way he sees and views life. Even though it may not have been that way, but because of his past, it came to him in that way. It showed to him that way. And then the last card, how he feels about this relationship is honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss holidays together. So he's he's going to come forth and he wants to bring this together because he knows you're the only one for him. What is the Divine Masculine's? barriers he needs to know that he deserves love he needs to know that he's worth love that's his barrier of actually accepting your love he's learning it's going to take him a moment, and that's okay. Because this particular situation, you both have to trust each other. And he's trusted you this far. So he knows that when he comes in and express his beautiful love for you, that it'll open the floodgates to trusting you even more. And the next thing he wants to do with the Divine Feminine, this is a barrier because he wants to retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. He wants to just take you and him and just go. Just get away. Just get away. One card to end it off. Okay, so he has two cards to end it off, you guys. He has let your friends help you. I feel as though some of his friends that knows about this situation... It's telling him to do the right thing. Do the right thing. Be happy. And the next thing that's going to happen for him is you both going to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. He's going to come forth. And that's why the reconciliation is here. Because he wants to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Let's see what's the outcome. Stay optimistic about your love life. 
Okay, so I'm gonna take the last, oh my goodness. So, when this particular situation come up, don't go back and tell what you used to know. You have to stand on your own two feet. Yes, it's beautiful to be in a relationship and to be together, but you still have to continue your spiritual journey. You can't let codependencies get in the way. You can't be too attached. You can be attached to the person, but not in that way. You can be attached to where I love you very much, but I have to still continue to do my journey. I have to still continue to grow. Because you don't want to just get this and then stop growing. For what? Then what was the point? Just to get into a reunion? No, that's not the point. We have to continue to grow. Because this particular situation has attraction. You enjoy this moment fully with attraction. This particular situation is here for you. You both have romantic feelings. We know that. We know. And like this reconciliation. It's coming very soon. So you, you put your pants on. And you make sure that you're ready for everything that you ever wanted. Everything that you ever desired. Because it's here. If You could feel it. You could feel that it's here. You definitely can. So I thank you guys for watching. Um, just stay tuned for the next videos. Thank you.